So a red die and a blue die are tossed. The outcomes are shown in the array. So consider the following two events. Event A equaling the sum of the two dice is 10. So that's when we would have a 4 and a 6, a 5 and a 5, or a 6 and a 4. Event B would be equal to the number on each die is the same. So where we'd have a 1 and a 1, a 2 and a 2, a 3 and a 3, a 4 and a 4, a 5 and a 5, or a 6 and a 6. So list the outcomes for the following events as subsets of the sample space. So event A, the sum of the two dice is 10. The outcomes that are favorable to this particular event would include the 4, the 6, the 5 and 5, and the 6 and 4. So there are three favorable outcomes for that particular event. Event B, so the number on each die is the same. Well, that would occur if we have a 1 and a 1, a 2 and a 2, 3 and a 3, 4 and a 4, 5 and a 5, and a 6 and a 6. Now list the outcomes for the intersection of A and B. So what's the common outcome? It's the 5 and the 5. All right, so let's state the following probabilities. The probability of A occurring. So the probability that the sum of the two dice is 10, well, there were 3 out of 36. So 1 over 12 chance of that occurring. The probability of B, so the probability that the number on each die is the same, well, there were 6 favorable all over 36. So 1 over 6 chance of that occurring. Now here's that new notation. So this is red. What's the probability of B occurring given that A has already occurred? Now I'll attach that to the context of the problem. So what's the probability that the number on each die is the same given that the sum of the two dice is 10? So it's almost like this becomes our new total. So if the sum of the two dice is 10, it has to come out of those three. So now out of those three, um, which ones have the same number on each die? Well, there's only one of those. So it becomes one over three. Let's look at the other situation. So the probability of A occurring given that B has already occurred. And again, when we connect this to the context of the question, it's asking us, what is the probability that the sum of the two dice is 10, given that the number on each die is the same? So given that the number on each die is the same, that becomes our total. So out of those six, how many of those two dice sum to 10? Well, there was only one out of those six. Now, what's the probability of A and B occurring? Well, when A and B occurs, that's when the sum of the two dice is 10 and the number on each die is the same. That only occurred once out of the 36 possible outcomes. And then the probability of B and A occurring, that's really just saying the same thing, right? What's the probability that the number on each die is the same and the sum of the two dice is 10? That still is 1 over 36. So now we move into two formulas. So the probability of A and B occurring, and then the probability of B and A occurring. We're going to realize that there are some similarities between these two formulas, but there are also some differences. So let's verify these formulas. Let's see if we can use them again. So the probability of A and B occurring equaled 1 over 36. Okay, so I guess we can calculate that by taking the probability of A occurring, so 1 over 12, and multiplying that by the probability of B occurring, given that A has already occurred, 1 over 3, and we see that they actually are the same. So this is a formula we're going to use for dependent events when we're looking for the probability of A and B occurring. Now let's look at this other formula, which is quite similar. So what's the probability of B and A occurring? Well, we know that was also 1 over 36. Let's see if it's calculated the same. So the probability of B occurring was 1 over 6. So already we notice it's different. And we'll multiply that by the probability of A um, occurring given that B has already occurred. So now notice that the probability of A and B equals the probability of B and A, um, even though the calculations are different. So that's